light the beam. Because it's time for Nerdy for 30, the podcast where we talk about nerdy-ish movies for 30-ish minutes. My name is Kevin Bauer, a.k.a. The Critics' Choice, with me, as always, always by my side. It's the people's champ, Tim Kak. Yeah, buddy. And today, we are talking about aliens. And to do so, we have a very special guest. She is a good friend of ours. You may know her as an artist from Metro Detroit. It's Jenny Gustafson. (laughs) Oh my God. Hi. (laughs) What's Uh, happening? Jenny, so, (laughs) you know, we've we've been trying to have guests on specifically who have mentioned that they love a specific movie. I know when I invited you on for Aliens, you said that you had not seen it, but I will say the three of us, our Venn diagram of movies that we like is pretty much a circle. (laughs) I think all three of us are in that like rare air of people who would watch the movie Double Dragon right now. So absolutely, I, it's, I haven't it's seen Double Dragon, but I would. So, oh, Tim, you're gonna oh, love it. Great. So, based on that, I was like, I think she's gonna love it. Is that true? What is your one sentence take on this movie? It is my one sentence take is that motherhood is um dangerous and <laughs> disgusting and rewarding at the end of the day. Um, I I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. It definitely is a different film than the first one. I fucking love the first one it still remains my favorite but this this one was a long time coming because i actually have a magnet of the pulse gun that i bought oh, no because i had a crush on a guy and i thought that would impress him <laughs> the guy was real past him. I'll, I'll tell you what it did <laughs> It was the late you might not have said it but it, it was noticed and appreciated <laughs> thanks tim <laughs> got your heart just waiting to get that bod Oh. Yes, <laughs> I got. Uh, I mean, I have pretty much. I've got a very similar one sentence on this one. Mine yeah. is, it's like if you went back to an incredible taco truck, but they only serve beef brisket now. But it's the best beef brisket you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what do you got? What's your one sentence on this one? My one sentence take is sometimes too much is a bad thing. But sometimes too much is a good thing. <laughs> this movie is too much in the best way, and I freaking love it. I don't, I, I don't think I've like sat down and watched this movie. I certainly haven't sat down and watched this movie in years. I don't know if I've ever just sat down and watched it. I got to like the end of the movie, and I was like, "Isn't this the movie where she puts on the like the yellow robot suit and fights the alien?" And I was like, "I guess it's not. Maybe that was another movie." And then she does. It was crazy. This. There's I I prefer this movie over the first one. There's just more action movie tropes and moments where I'm like, I was leaping off the couch, you know, watching this thing. I got so excited and oh, so yeah. pumped at multiple parts. Uh I I love this movie. It's it's a classic for sure. Oh yeah, this was an active watch. This was the first one, you know, slow build, a uh, beautiful like you know, Ripley build up character study. Holy shit. If I wasn't screaming my ass off (laughs) through this whole movie, because it's not alien, it's aliens. They everywhere. (laughs) They're in the walls. It's, (laughs) I mean, it, it really is. It's incredible how both of these are two of the most tense movies I've ever seen in my life, but they're tense in different ways. It is like active tension versus passive tension because in the first movie, it's like, you know, she's hidden, she's in that locker and the thing's on the escape pod with her and you're just like, fuck, what is she going to do? And then in this (laughs) one, like the whole final battle against the alien queen is like, it's the end of the movie. Of course she's going to win, but at the same time, you're like, oh, get out of there. Oh my God. No, she's whipping the tail at you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that queen is nasty as hell let me tell you it's so <laughs> queen is nasty can we talk about that puppet it's a puppet oh that's practical that thing is a practical oh, effect shit. i thought that was a real alien they caught that thing looked incredible <laughs> wow it, it did have a fun sort of Jurassic Park gate yeah. about it when it's chasing her. <laughs> Look oh, like and a... I love that it went down an elevator. It was like, oh, I'll catch the next one. Fully <laughs> 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 like, which floor did you want? You want five? Okay, gotcha. Take me to the top. Yeah, <laughs> all the way to the top. <laughs> uh, I was I was stunned when it was like 
it feels like the queen's whole thing is having eggs. It's like there's like this long, disgusting tube. And I'm like, oh, this feels like an obligation, you know, like this is a burden exactly. that they have to carry forever. And then at the end, they're just like, nope. And just like pop it off. <laughs> and just start running. So I was like, what? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Can you, that's an option. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah it's like a vacuum head you just kind of like <laughs> yeah, exactly. you can put on one that's a little more mobile you get the like the long one out so you can stand in vacuum there's actually a bunch more attachments they're all just in the closet somewhere i'm not sure exactly where Absolutely. it's behind something oh i would love to see the aliens closet <laughs> <laughs> a different janitorial space <laughs> Gosh. is it that, i will uh, say when you when you oh, kevin were like we know she's gonna win at the end at the beginning of the movie, when the alien bursts out of her chest, I fell for mm-hmm. it so hard. I don't know why, uh, as I casually turn off my fan, that's been going the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I, I legit was like, how the heck is she going to get out of this one? <laughs> this is crazy. They're going to have to put her back together. And, I'm like, <laughs> and then she woke up and I was like, oh, you, you idiot. Of course, of course, she's gonna wake up. I thought the I thought the exact same thing, and I thought it was gonna be like she's the antidote. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> she is the Holy antidote. Shit, that is that would be one thing that I would want to see them do with this. Is like, yeah, if they did have a chest burster come out of Ripley, that like half Ripley, half Xenomorph is <gasps> basically like the Messiah of aliens. <laughs> Boss bitch. <laughs> Oh. In in underwear, in gray little underwear. Yeah. yeah. At least it's women's underwear this time. On the first movie, she's like wearing True. like little kid underwear, which is very strange. The first movie, she's basically wearing like like a fabric COVID face mask. Just yeah. Between both of her. It's the smallest piece of fabric I've seen in my entire life. And, and you've think, seen small fabric. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? I used to make doll clothes. <laughs> I do think it's really funny that they uh, they did give us like another underwear scene, and it seems like they took the note. Like everything yeah. fits a little bit better. To be fair, it's what like fifty seven years in the future, so like Ooh, that was evolved. a rough blow for her. Yeah, Ooh. that's a lot. Not even an even number. <laughs> that's something no. you can really chew on right your head around. <laughs> if it was an even number, at least you're like, okay, okay, at least I can understand 50, this. Fine. <laughs> 57? 57? How do you divide 57? I love when he's like, your daughter is 66 and dead. (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking rough. That's like, (laughs) did we know, did she ever, I mean, she has to have like met her daughter, but even if her daughter was a baby, but like, did they dive into this movie? I can't remember (laughs) how old her daughter was when she left on the initial. Oh, I guess we can just do the math on this. This is why it's hard that it's not a round number. Hmm. Thank you. Nine. Thank you. Yeah, nine. Thank you. <laughs> Daughter's nine. But I, I missed. I even missed that she had a daughter. I was wondering why she was so attached to this this random kid she found, whose name is Rebecca, but we have to call her by Newt, which is I I I will say that's my biggest beef in the whole thing. I do not like calling her Newt. I do not like it. Her doll's name is Casey, a normal name, but her name, the human, is named Newt, which is just a gross. <laughs> It's a gross animal. It's just a gross. I don't know. You guys love Newt. Her parents were gross. I'm sorry. She upgraded so. hard. Like you, you know, she met Ripley. was like, my mom sucks. <laughs> 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 no, I agree. Although she was very like street urchin. So I guess Newt is kind of Newt, whatever. But her parents sucked. So of course they call her Newt. <laughs> Yeah, you think they were awful? You think they were like <laughs> abusive, mean parents? <laughs> yeah, it was like it. when my mom used to leave me in the car to like run in the store. And I'm like, she might never come back. <laughs> but they never did. Yeah, You're sweating never and did. panting and banging on the glass <laughs> to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> the window's fogging up. You're writing help, but you're not writing it backwards. So it's <laughs> What the hell does Plaid mean? Uh, uh, leave that kid alone. They should call her Newt. <laughs> I'll leave that Newt alone. Uh, 
Yeah, she yeah. had, what did you think of Newt's setup? Like the little nest that she made? Because she had that fan over top and she was like living in the ventilation shafts. Was it, was the assumption that basically because she was in the ventilation shaft and there was that fan there, that it was basically like hiding her smell? I didn't know that Ooh. she uh, lived in New York City. <laughs> Get him, Tim. What, she paying 2K for that room? Oh, oh Tim. Shit, dude. Damn. Tim completely upended the, the New Damn. York housing system. <laughs> We're not afraid of throwing punches up. We will we'll throw haymakers on the pod. You don't know who's going to get it. You think you're going to listen to an alien movie about aliens? A pod about Eric aliens? Eric Adams, tune in. Oh my God. That Eric He's, Adams. Eric Adams News. is in our DMs every week. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Just, I won't let don't go for the policy, and we're like Eric. <laughs> we're not wearing gloves. He's praying for your downfall. <laughs> don't give in. <laughs> oh, oh, I loved her nest. That was very like every time I was younger and like imagined being, you know, lost in a way, like creating my own little space, my own little cocoon. That was top notch, Newt. Yeah. Yeah. There's. I mean. There's like. There's food wrappers and stuff everywhere. She had like a tasteful amount of dirt on her, which I thought was funny. It was like mm-hmm. a perfectly like Victorian street urchin level of dirt. <laughs> no, that was Oliver dirt. If I've ever seen it. <laughs> I think she might have put that dirt on when she saw Sigourney coming because she's like, oh, if I play this up, this woman's going to adopt me. <laughs> Oh man, she's Dude. scrappy. She's scrappy. What if this whole movie is a ploy to get her adopted? You know, like she's oh God. she's she's being raised by abusive parents. The only person who loves and respects her is her brother who uses her full name. She's on this alien planet. One day she stumbles into this nest with these little face sitting aliens. And all she has to do is throw one on the wrong person and it spreads like wildfire. And unfortunately, her brother, her sweet brother, got caught in the in like the whole thing of it and got swept away and now that now these people are coming to save her and she's like oh there's a there's a lady i want to get adopted i'll sprint across them and get shot at and then like you know lull her in with my sweet street urchin charm yeah i'm in i, think I she's wish the she had sang a song or knew how to dance oh like she God. needed an edge that's the one thing we missed in this was a musical Bondo. element yeah this was this movie was what like 1980 was it Four, like, i think yeah seven like, 87. Yeah, seven. Another <laughs> odd number. I mean, I feel like if this movie had happened like three or four years later and we'd actually gotten into the 90s, she would have had like rollerblades or a skateboard. Like she yeah. would have had like a little backwards hat that she wore. Alabunga, dude. She, she absolutely was, would. She would have been popping gum, <laughs> eating pizza. That place was just like the. <laughs> The futuristic space version of Sam Rockwell's hangout from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. I will say, since this movie is more my speed action movie wise, they hit so many fun tropes and fun like action movie bits. Like, I love that one dude gets out of like cryostasis and immediately puts a cigar in his mouth. And that's like his whole thing. Dude, I was ready to die for that guy. I he was my Same. favorite character immediately. Welcome to the chewing, core. <laughs> chewing that cigar to oblivion, like gnawing on it. I <laughs> loved it. Like this guy's unhinged. <laughs> He's chewing it for sustenance. <laughs> he is like the prime example of if you love your job, you never have to work very much. <laughs> oh, exactly. God, he, he loves the core. For retirement, like three tours ago, he's like, "Put me back in there." It's kind of like the it's the Top Gun thing where it's like, "How have you not? You should be a colonel by now." Like, what are you doing? Still flying planes? And it's like that's where I belong. Like this guy should be. This guy should be like the, I don't know, secretary general, not secretary general. What's the, what's the highest ranking? Besides the president. General. Yeah, post-master post-master general. General. <laughs> this guy should be the postmaster general for sure. We'd never worry about our mail again. Oh my God. Have you ever seen a picture of what one of the chefs under the, I think it was the Obama white house looked like. And this guy's just gone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like Jack Terry Cruz mind? ate Terry Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His name was like Pork Chop or something, too. It was like 
<laughs> Hell yeah. He had a real, real manly ass name there, too. <laughs> Man, I want to hit, hit these two real quick. These are two of my thieves. I love it in a movie when someone when we come in mid conversation and then someone goes, oh, let's go through it again. And then we're presented with that information for the first time. <laughs> it's I love oh, it so much. They're like, OK, <laughs> let's let's run through the plan one more time. And it's the first time we're hearing it. And I'm like, oh, man, they've really got this down. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. And then I think my biggest thief of the movie, like the, my favorite moment in the whole thing is when Ripley takes two guns and tapes them together to make a bigger gun. That is the funniest, <laughs> most 80s action movie nonsense I've ever seen. I was so hyped for it. I love That's the it. most Kevin Bauer thing I've ever seen. <laughs> let's be real. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this is like a source text. This is like... <laughs> It's fucking incredible. The best thing in the world, Tim, to your point earlier, more of a good thing in my mind. That's double good, baby. <laughs> I don't know too much. Never heard of it. There were a lot of familiar oh. faces in this movie, though. Like, speaking of references, we got Terminator in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all have seen Pumpkinhead. We got Pumpkinhead in there. Pumpkinhead. The, the android guy. <laughs> Pumpkinhead's great, by the way. Check Dang. that out. I haven't seen Pumpkinhead. Um, yeah. Uh, some guy. Sure. <laughs> cool. For, cool. For, uh, for Michael Bean, for Terminator, he's kind of a fascinating one because, like, somehow, like, I feel like Michael Bean is... In any kind of a movie where there's like a female protagonist, but it's like an action movie, he's like the perfect male love interest. If you're going to yeah. go with a male love interest, there's something about him that makes him like so much more palatable than most men that you see in action movies. Totally. Yeah. Well, he's like, a, he's not not passive, but he's like quiet confidence. And so he's not like playing hard or like being super quippy. I guess that's like every movie now. He's not Chris Pratt. Let's <laughs> <laughs> god we yeah, should be no, so it, lucky he's a good foil but he is like <laughs> so picking lucky. up newt and putting her on the table so she can see yeah. i love that by the way <laughs> i thought it was so sweet i loved that it's really watching out for her and he yeah. gives he gives ripley the watch that tracks her location like he's like doing a little getting his little flirt on and then she gives it to newt and then he knows she gave it to newt later on he's like oh we can track the watch and i was like huh this is the guy who, who listens this guy who watches, yeah. he observes. This you is know? a guy who would like, you had mentioned in passing that you wanted a laptop case. And then on your birthday, he got you a laptop case. Yeah. Yeah. And something better than a laptop case, just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> With a diamond inside. <laughs> diamond laptop case. <laughs> Three years' salary. That's too much. That's broke too my much. fucking laptop. <laughs> Try to put my laptop in the case with the whole ass diamond in there. Thanks. Scratched uh, shit. Apple doesn't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah, it is not insured anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I love seeing him. Uh, I I gotta say, of the people that were in the crew, my favorite was Vasquez. Um, oh, I yeah. thought she fucking ruled. This character is amazing. She brings such a fun, badass energy. The guy like compliments her immediately, and her response is to grin and just slap him on the face twice, which is the shit. <laughs> he loves it. Yes, he loves, he loves it. 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 Immediately They're best buddies. I love okay. it. You ever been mistaken for a man? No, have you? Yes. Fucking Fuck yeah. rules. This is after yes. ripping out a couple pull-ups too, right? Yeah. Oh, she, and then she puts her head in the front. Shredded. She's just going behind the back. Oh man, <laughs> that said, yeah. I found out was very unhappy to find out while researching this. Uh, that woman is doing brown face. She is not a Hispanic oh. woman. Oh, yeah, I didn't no. See that. I believe she was Jewish. With a I name like so. Vasquez, there's no way. Fucking way. Uh, wow, that is Jeanette weird. Goldstein. <laughs> yeah, it's Goldstein. <laughs> her family is from Russia, Morocco, and Brazil. Damn, so, Jeanette. That's, okay. tough. that's a tough break. But the character's cool. <laughs> The character is great. It's a classic, like, butch lady character in an action movie where it's just blaze of glory, no holds barred, no uh, care for rules or regulations. Yes. When she's yes. in, she does the, what she wants. She's in the elevator shaft and she just 
plugs the gun into the alien's head and just starts ripping bullets out on it. <laughs> With your yes, boot on its yes. neck. Incredible. Yes. Sick. Sick. Uh, any crazy. other thieves? Jenny, what's your biggest thief in oh. this? Oh. <laughs> I hope this is okay to say. Yes. Moisture. <laughs> Okay, go I on. think moisture stole the show. Okay. Um, Don't elaborate, please. Goop, go, <laughs> goop, spit, um, huh. yucky stuff, bubbling over. Like it was a perfect staccato to everything that there was just like a either like, you know, the acid spit or it was like the the egg pods opening with slime. Or it was the cocoons that when you want to like get fucking new out of it, it's just like all over your hands. Oh, yeah. Like it was a perfect like little like exclamation point on the end of each. And then the android guy at the end when he's just like a waterfall of like white shit <laughs> out of his mouth. <laughs> Another milky robot death. Yeah. <laughs> by the way uh i would highly advise no one to go to tim's tumblr milky robot deaths dot tumblr dot com <laughs> it is unless it you is want a to come. watch list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a wet ass movie this is you know it's james cameron it's we've wet. talked a lot on this pod about what a water loving freak that man is um <laughs> He just he just yearns for the wet world. Is it? He yearns for the wet world. In Alien, there's that scene where that guy just goes to the wet room with like the wet chains and just stands yeah. under them and water splashes yeah. his face. Yes. <laughs> like, and I'm like, even it is even wetter than that. That's crazy. The the substance that she is pulling off of Newt at the end, it's mm-hmm. like hard and crusty and it's like snapping off. But it's also so slimy. I was like, what is what part of the alien is this coming from? <laughs> because uh, Their blood is acid. They're spit. I don't know. Maybe are they spitting? Are they like, is this alien vomit? Like, where are they getting this from? Do they have other glands that we don't know about? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> For certain, yes. <laughs> I did wonder about that too. Because, like, do they have another? Yeah. Like, next to their salivary gland, is there like a secondary salivary gland that's like the cocoon gland that every alien has? Yes. The cocoon gland. The cocoon gland. I guess yeah. we mostly yeah. see any of the time they're like biting anybody or attacking anybody, it's mostly the little mouth. So maybe the big mouth does more of the goopy stuff. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it up for the big mouth. Yeah. Give it up for the big mouth. <laughs> give it up for the big mouth. <laughs> snaps for the big oh, mouth. Snapping. Yes. I would they be? Yes, the aliens would be as scary without drippy mouths. I was yeah. just going to ask if <laughs> it wouldn't be. I was it, real it worried. Be just as scary. I was real worried the queen didn't have a tiny mouth. And then at the end, it's like, oh, good, she does. She also has. <laughs> I a, was real worried. I was real worried. She's all in her face, and I'm like, where's that little mouth? <laughs> please, please, please. She came at me with that tiny mouth. That tiny mouth. <laughs> you know when aliens into you when they come at you with that tiny mouth. Tiny mouth. Ooh, speaking of tiny mouths, the face huggers, mm. when they're like in the Ugh. those cylinders, and then they show the little like the little like suction clip that like comes out of them oh i fucking hated that that thing is wild and i do to that exact point i do want to call out the fact that earlier in this podcast episode eagle-eared listeners may have heard tim accidentally call a face hugger a face sitting alien (laughs) did i say that yeah i was trying really hard not to laugh for like the next 90 seconds Oh my god! I oh think it god. sits on your face. I mean, for for the for the thing for the aliens' perspective, it's taking a nice seat, get a nice sit down. Sure. I would think it would be like belly, belly, like a lay down, like a belly. But there's okay. So there, you think that mouth is a belly button? I think that mouth is a belly button. <laughs> okay, okay. Agree to disagree, to but I'll read your thesis for sure. That's why uh, the show Kyle XY about the oh my God. <laughs> the kid who doesn't have a belly button he could never be a face hugger. He could never. <laughs> yeah, I maybe he can be a face him. sitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to see. So one of the things we're dropping this uh, 
on <laughs> Thursday. I, I forget what the exact date is, but the Fede Alvarez alien Romulus is coming out. And so one thing that I'm thrilled about in that is that they have practical effect face huggers. So you can see video sitters. footage online. Face sitters. Yes, sorry. So you can see video effects online of them like driving them around the set and the little legs are jiggling around and it's ah, it's so cool. That's coming. I didn't even hear about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the guy who directed um, the most recent Evil Dead movie. Oh, oh yeah. no effing way. Yeah, it's going to be another movie. great one. It's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be really gross. Yeah, I was going to say lots of, lots of lots of moisture in that one, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buckle yeah. up for another moist <laughs> movie. Another wet ass movie. <laughs> Bring a poncho. It's about to get moist. Let's <laughs> say like, the face sitters, the face sitters when they run around, it reminds me of the Adams family, where it's like the, the, oh, the, the so what is it? It thing? It? Yeah. <laughs> it's thing or it? I couldn't or remember. Thing. I think it's thing. Cousin it. Thing. And then thing is the hand. Yeah, it's and the, it the hand one. thing. And I, I did laugh the first time I saw them running. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> I was like, this is goofy as heck. It's got, it's like, I'm surprised it doesn't run in different directions because it's got so many legs facing opposite sides, but somehow it, it keeps going, you know? <laughs> it doesn't get confused. Yeah. It's just like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would work like, like uh, a horse pulling a man apart where it's like one is tied to each limb and then they all go separate directions. Absolutely. I feel like all the legs would just run. Run separate, <laughs> separate places, they and just leave out. behind whatever they're sitting on the face with. They're just, they have very short, painful lives. They're pretty much born, and then they pull themselves in half. Yeah. Um, so they, but their eggs. So they lay an egg, and then out of the egg comes a face sitter, and then the face sitter has to sit on a face in order to lay another egg, which mm. then turns into an alien. Oh. A chest burster, and then becomes an, an alien, and then that alien could maybe lay more eggs. That'll become face sitters, who will look for a face to sit on. Um, yeah, I think that's right. How isn't did it? I miss the like chain of creation? <laughs> wow, makes you think. <laughs> that silence means that we're thinking. <laughs> it hasn't been that quiet since we tried to figure out how old Ripley's daughter was when she left. <laughs> <laughs> I will That's say, like bad. the the queen alien, like I'd be so proud if I were her. <laughs> like looking at my children, <laughs> like look at uh, like mother is mothering, like look at them being murderous and like i have more to spare i don't want them to die but if they have to like they did me proud so i think she didn't die in vain yeah <laughs> because oh. i was really sad when she died <laughs> <laughs> it is shitty i mean like i my big take with the first one too is that like you know obviously the aliens are not the villains here it's capitalism but like it's, it's kind of just it's like these yes work but it's like these movies Burr. are about these like beautiful tigers that just, you know, happen to be near people and getting killed because they're a threat to the people. But it's like, look at this majestic animal. This thing is incredible. You said this movie is about beautiful tigers? Yeah, like metaphorically, <laughs> like the, the, oh, okay. like a beautiful beast that's dangerous, but also like, wow, look at this thing. It's magnificent. Heaven's part of the Tiger Council. It's like <laughs> trying to work it into I'm everything. wearing stripes right now. <laughs> Oh shit! It's blood into every single part of my life. This goes all the way to the top. <laughs> you can donate to our Save the Tigers fund at the link at the bottom of the pod. Yeah, Kevin will personally bring a tiger to your house, <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. This is like if a if a baby tiger had to sit on your face, lay a tiger egg in your chest, and watch a full grown tiger like rip its way out. Yeah, and then that That'd tiger. Be amazing goes on to kill people that's exactly how it works. that's what the circus should be that's what the circus should be <laughs> you know yes. if eric adams would change up some of his policies that's the kind of circus we could have in this city eric adams doesn't want you to have tigers <laughs> bursting out of your chest and that's the trail oh god yeah all i gotta say to that is just you know vote make your voice heard at the polls make your voice heard ringling bros I've got a big question for the two of you. I think yeah. uh, this is a panel that I'm thrilled to have answering this question. Alien was a horror movie. Its sequel was a full-on action movie starring the <laughs> final girl from the first movie. 
James Cameron did the same exact thing with Terminator, horror movie first, then full-on action movie for the sequel starring the final girl from the first movie. My question is, what are some other horror movies you would want to see get the same action movie sequel treatment? Oh. Ooh. Malignant? <laughs> I was oh. just going to say Malignant. You are kidding me. Fuck That's yes. the one. That's like the Ooh. best character we've had in any horror oh movie my God. in a decade. Talk about screaming during a movie. That reveal was unreal. <laughs> fucking phenomenal. I, I don't even want to say it. If you haven't, listener, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> go see Malignant Watch it. and then listen to our Malignant pod. <laughs> we um, need a Malignant versus Alien crossover. <laughs> that would, that would and then just rock. the girl from Prey with her with her hatchet there and just like, <laughs> let him go to see what happens. <laughs> oh. I, think I also final girl. I wanted to pitch. Uh, I think it follows would be really cool. Um, oh, yeah. Also just, thought uh, just, just one of those aliens walking around keeps looking over its shoulder. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that other alien following me? <laughs> it's just and it's just and it's changing people. It's like a bunch of different characters, but they're all aliens, so you can't tell them apart. So yeah. it's just an alien following an alien the whole time. <laughs> The aliens, the naked alien standing on a roof. Yeah. <laughs> I also thought uh, Midsommar could be pretty fun. Mm. Just Florence mm. Pugh taking down some weird Norwegians. Uh, the Babadook I'm for that. Just oh, this woman no. sicking her Babadook on people. Like she's going up to like a cartel and she's just unleashing the Babadook on them. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> That's I know she died, so it wouldn't make any sense. And also, she wasn't the final girl. So I'm just going to answer how I want. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but uh, Mrs. Voorhees, oh, I know sick. she, like, mm. quotes, but I would love to see, like, even a prequel, like an origin story or something like that. That would be incredible. Oh, my God. Like, that a, would be awesome. like a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but Mrs. Voorhees is, like, the Alan Quartermain, Sean Connery character. <laughs> and she's just... <laughs> She's just assembling a team of like <laughs> malignant and <laughs> Midsommar and whoever <laughs> it follows. Or it could be maybe Tony Collette from Hereditary. <laughs> just <laughs> headless. <laughs> Holy shit, that would rock. <laughs> oh, it should be the little girl from uh, Hereditary. And her whole oh, bet absolutely. is that her head comes off and she just uses it to fight people. It like bounces <laughs> off a thing. She, she like throws it at people it and it comes bites. back like a boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mystery men or something yeah, <laughs> <bowling ball. laughs> this this oh, has legs that. for Marry sure that. this is wonderful jenny thank you so much for being here with us this has been an absolute joy oh my absolute pleasure yes, you're the best do you have anything you'd like to plug Sure. If you would like to check out some of my art, check out Instagram at very large things. Uh, if you're in the Detroit area and want to check out a sick mural I just painted, uh, go to Next Level. It's an arcade right in downtown Detroit. Other than that, um, just keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Thoughts Not and because prayers. I'm suffering, but because I'm <laughs> thriving. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking bless. Oh, listener, what do you think? Uh, are you going to keep Jenny in your thoughts and prayers? Do you have an opinion on aliens? Do you have an opinion on a horror movie sequel you would like to see turn into an action movie? Let us know. Send us an email, nerdy430 at gmail.com. We will read it in a mailbag episode. We'll be back again next week. Till then, stay nerdy. Bye. Stay nerdy. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs>